Okay, in this chapter here, we're actually going to start to actually learn a, a little bit about uh, the, what the screen is showing here, okay? And you can tell right away that uh, the software is actually set up just like uh, Microsoft Works is uh, what's called ribbon technology. What we have is our sub-menu groups over here. When we click on them, the ribbon information changes to things that are applicable to that to our work. In other words, we can have, open up a rasterized image. We can actually open up a vector image and work on it. We can use a varying uh, degree of uh, closed shapes to actually make uh, artwork. Open shapes, we can even do text here, okay? This basic baseline text. We click on hotfix, things that are applicable to hotfix, where we can draw in rhinestones are available. We can do path, which is just a single line of stone. We can do a fill um, area of, of stone. There are six different fill patterns there. Uh, then we have hotfix text, where we can actually do text uh, we can just do regular text uh, with rhinestones automatically. No, uh, no, uh, no graphic first to convert. Okay, and then we have manual hotfix, which is basically one stone at a time. Basically, what we do, we click on it, and then we can go to our catalog, click on the stone, and that opens up our our catalog, and then we can pick whatever stones we want to work on, and then display stones one at a time. And then the uh, hotfix complex is a, is something that we use. In Hotfix tab, yeah. Hotfix Complex is a tool we we'll use at the end of our designing that will delete any stone collisions, stones that are over top of stones or stones that are right next to each other. We'll have to do that before saving. Uh, sort Hotfix is a way we can actually, say we created a red, white, and blue flag. And uh, we created blue first, white, and then red. And say, well, we really want red to run first. We can actually sort our Hotfix to make red run first, white, and blue, regardless of how we created it. Okay. That tool will be available right here. The other tool we have here is called Hoops. Now, what Hoops does, if you look at my grid, when I turn on my grid, and I bring in an object, and you bring in an object here to see, see it. All right, and I'll turn my grid on. You can see my grid is kind of, let me zoom out. Okay, my, my grid is kind of like noisy, okay? It kind of fills up the area around my artwork and everything. And sometimes I don't like to use that, that, that grid. I don't like to create too much noise. I like the white background, okay? So what I'll do is in the hotfix, I'll choose a hoop. A hoop is actually mean to table size. <clears throat> and what I'll do is I'll go to select hoop. And I'll click on the brand new. When I put my mouse over the brand new, see this little arrow come up? I'll click on it. I'll choose the cans machines, okay, because they make hoops or tables for many different machines. And I'll choose my machine type. We have a 1v6p basic here, and I'll hit OK. And now what that does, it gives me my table size of my machine, my 16 by 16, without the noise of the grid. Mm. See, the grid is 16 by 16 as well, but it just takes up so much. It just takes up so much more clutter on my screen. Okay. So, so now let me uh, let me pause this for a minute. Also in our hoops, <clears throat> what we have is this, okay? The outline of my area, you can actually assign to whatever color you want. Some people like the black, you know, just choose black and just slide your mouse right up to black area inside that screen. Okay. And uh, pen width, which means how thick this line is going to be. Uh, I like a two, two point. Pen width, and this is the up arrow button. There we go. And I like a 50% opacity, so when I'm zoomed in, it's kind of translucent. So when I hit OK, you can see what that does. It gives me a nice black outline on my screen. Okay? And that kind of, it kind of like unclutters my, okay? Now, so that's a little bit about Hotfix. Okay, Hotfix is, a, that's the tools of Hotfix. View, let me get rid of this. View, um, Gives us our zooming tools, okay? And also, down below here, we have uh, some hotkeys that are always open, so we don't have to keep going to zoom, okay? You can see over on the right-hand side of our zoom tools, we have zoom the area, which allows us to, when we click on it, we hold our left mouse button, draw a square where we want to zoom into, right? And then release, and we're zoomed into that area, okay? And then this here, maximize total, will zoom us out to so we can see 100% of the design on screen, okay? 
and you don't have a design on screen right there, so that's why it's not going to pop up. Okay. Uh, for instance, let me bring in the image. Again. How would I get out of it? I'm in it, and now I don't want to be in it. Yep. Let me let me show you what that maximize total. See, right now I'm zoomed into my object right here, and when I click on maximize total, it zooms out to the size of the image, the largest part of the image of my design. I can see my design entirely. To zoom out all the way is right here. Just hit the minus button on the zoom. So I can zoom in or zoom out using this tool. All right, and actually, if I want to see a true size of a design, I have a percentage here too. I can go to 100% and see what my design really looks like in the true form. Okay. And this is, I can put a rule to this and actually measure it. Okay. Yeah. So what, what you'll do, I use this, but if I'm if I'm zoomed in at 100, by the way, your wheel mouse too. If you roll it up, point your mouse where you want to zoom to, and it'll zoom to that area. All right. Okay. Scroll out using the wheel mouse too, instead of using this slide bar. Here. Okay. In artwork. Oh, by the way, by the way, uh, a couple other information about the the way it's laid out is we have sidebar information. We can open up pre-existing designs that we have created from here. We can open up a new image, and we can view the image on the image sidebar. Yeah. Okay. And then over here, we have Object Manager, which allows us to see some of the aspects of our design. We'll see that in a little bit. Okay. To close it, just click on it again. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's show you uh, a little bit now. A couple, couple other things we got is actually this, uh, the, we have the ruler up on the top and a ruler on the bottom. With this, what this is for is actually to visually measure our objects, although there are about three different methods of, of actually setting the size of our design. But I use it primarily to bring a guideline down to keep myself on a level plane, lining things up. Okay? If I grab the ruler and drag it in, I bring guidelines in. And I use this to line up objects. Okay. Mm -hmm. By the way, you can actually set your guideline to any color you want. In the view, we do have guidelines. And then if you go to setup, you go to guideline options. Okay. And if you don't if, if you don't like the blue guidelines or red guidelines, you can uh, select any color guideline you want. Okay. So let's go ahead now. The delete a guideline, what you have to do is this. In the view, go to guidelines, right? See the guidelines? Go to setup, and then click on clear guidelines. All right? If you have a couple guidelines and you need them on there, but you want to get rid of them, or you, you want to uh, not delete them, but you want to get them off your screen so you can go back to creating, down here is a guideline on off. And then you can turn off your guidelines and turn them on later on. Okay. okay? And then when you want to delete them, you have to go to the view, set up, and uh, clear guidelines, okay? okay? A couple other tools that guidelines do allow us to do is this, watch. In the guideline options, let's say I need a guideline exactly at three inches, okay? Uh, horizontally, so I'll go one out of four inches. So four inches would actually be 100 millimeters. I didn't realize those on millimeters. Okay. And uh, we can change that two inches, inches right? yeah, two oh, inches okay. or 50. It's 25 millimeters to an inch. So when I go... To And there we have it. Now we have our two inches, and we have our four inches coming down a little bit. Oh, there it is. So I, I may use that. That way there, I know where my guideline is, and I know where my transfer is. Again, this will be something you'll probably never use. But you do have that ability.